At the tail end of a reckless battle, two beasts find themselves in a place they don't belong. And when the master of this land appears, not even the mightiest attacks can do it any harm. With its overwhelming strength, it pummels and pins down its prey. Its endless anger fills the air in the form of a deafening roar as it prepares to feast without leaving a single bone. What's good everyone, it's your boy Dak908, aka the Dig Dug himself, and today guys we're gonna take a quick look at Shigeru Magala. Now for Shigeru Magala, you should probably look at him like, okay, the name, the way it looks, everything, it's very akin to Gore Magala. You're not wrong, Gore Magala is a juvenile, flying wyvern, elder dragon thing, Shigeru Magala is the grown up form of that. It isn't the first time you've seen monsters like that in Moss Hunter, where you have the baby form as one monster and then the adult form as the other. The first one that comes to mind is Bizarre, Bizarre, ha, <laughs> Bizarios and Gravios, whereas is Gormagala is still technically a elder dragon kinda but then Shigeru Magala gets the full-on classification because uh, Gormagala you can actually capture in a trap whereas Shigeru Magala you cannot other than that let's talk about what is actually different between the two because truth be told as far as this game is concerned, not a whole lot has actually changed. So if you actually remember seeing the Gormagala video that I made, basically everything I talked about in there, I'm going to reference once more again in here. Well, not directly reference, but I'll bring up those exact points here um, on top of the few changes that are actually with it. So first and foremost, to go over some of the things that's similar, just as like a brief overview in case you don't want to go see that or you haven't seen the video. So Shigeru Magala, which I'm going to lovingly refer to Shaggy Maggie because I was the one who came up with the name, haha. But Shaggy Maggie is, or just Shaggy, rather, is a monster who has its own unique ability, so to speak. Frenzy. Now, it and Shigeru Magala, regular Maggie, are the only ones who actually have Frenzy. In their initial debut, which was in 4? I believe I'm pretty sure it was 4. Uh, it, was this, it was all the rage. It was this big thing where we're like, dude, you can hit monsters with it and then the monsters become crazy and then take on different properties it's almost like it's actually where the apex form came from because when you recover from the frenzy you turn apex it, there was a whole story thing about it but uh as far as the gameplay perspective what it initially does is if you get hit with the frenzy your character will have like you can see it on your little icon bar or you can look at your character and have like this this black smoke pop, popping off your body what you have to do is two things one you can either a attack the monster enough time so that way you purge yourself from the virus or b uh, if you can't attack as often, try to bring yourself some null berries or something like that to stave off some of the infection because you can take null berries and it won't completely deplete it, but it would actually reset the timer a bit because it is on a timer. Once the timer hits its maximum and you don't actually fight it off, you yourself become afflicted with frenzy. Now, usually there's nothing good to go with it. Uh, you can talk about the abilities on this particular monster itself between it and I believe Gormagala as well. They have an ability where if they are frenzied, if you yourself are frenzied or they can give yourself the frenzy, you have benefits. But for the most part, it's just negative stuff. So when you do, when you are rather afflicted with the frenzy, you yourself are limited in your way of recovery. By that I mean you just, you know the red health when you take an attack, you have a little bit of red health. That is your recoverable health. You lose recoverable health when you have a frenzy and I'm pretty sure back in the day you lost like affinity or something like that. Nevertheless, when you actually beat it, you beat the frenzy, you attack the monster enough times, you have this glowing white effect across your body when it happens. Um, you gain affinity and like something else I think, but nevertheless you just want it, beating it is good. And if you can't beat it readily because the monster is like laying you down with some heavy cover, uh, covering fire if you will because it does shoot a lot of blasts at you, just take a null barrier to and you should be okay. So let's talk about that covering fire. So what Gormagala and Shaggy tend to actually do is shoot a lot of these black balls at you. Pause. Now what they do is with these balls, uh, it'll usually slam itself on the ground and explode in like multiple different plumes. So you usually shoot one and it'll explode and it'll probably explode horizontally, meaning the main cores in the middle and then it'll have two explosions to the left and the right at the same time simultaneously now i believe gormagala has the same ability but it can do it vertically by that i mean it'll shoot the same ball in the middle and then instead of going from left to right explosions it'll go front to back explosions kind of cool little neat way to mix you up or whatever but for the most part uh, i don't think Sh uh, shaggy actually has that but what shaggy does have though it'll shoot the same ball a really concentrated ball it'll like really 
and then shoot it and it'll just lay on the ground and it becomes a much larger explosion one of the ones that actually knocks you straight into the sky that he can actually use to juggle you into another combo so you kind of have to watch out for that uh he also has an attack where he will uh wait first let's talk about the forms i i'm, I'm missing things over so he has multiple forms he has the forms where he is in a standard state and then he has a form where he's amped up now i believe there's two stages to the amped up form but realistically they both for the most part act roughly the same it's just the characteristics that he'll take on with the second form leads you to think that okay how much further is in this fight do we have left so once he gets amped up the whole screen goes a little dark a little nice little dark tint he has um additional abilities where he himself will actually throw out these plumes on the ground with certain attacks so he'll use his wings arm things to like swipe at you whatever and at the end of that swipe will be like three or four plumes of dark energy frenzy or whatever you want to call it so you don't want to get hit with it too often because well you don't want to get hit with it because again the frenzy stuff but it's a really interesting attack because even if he whiffs you you can still get hit by the plumes so you have to kind of watch out for it the range on those particular plumes which come on on certain other attacks isn't very large so they are tiny explosions but the explosions uh the radius on them is not too too big but the one thing you truly have to watch out for is if you look at his if you look at his mouth look at the mouth of shigeru magala and if it's glowing really really bright um he's gonna do a beam very soon okay so he has two beam attacks depending on what form i believe rather or if he's super angry or whatnot he will have either the beam where he shoots straight ahead or have a beam where he stands up on his hind legs and kind of arcs it around uh very akin to how ignactor used to do his beams when his chest was half off the ground or who else has a thing like that i don't know it's the only one that comes to mind i think gravio says something like that too black gravio so whatever but the beam works like this two things to note about the beam if you get hit with the beam no matter what for whatever reason i don't know it's probably part of the mechanic or whatever but you cannot wire fall out of that beam if you get hit with the beam you are unable to wire fall and you better hope that god you're not stunned or you better hope that you can react fast enough before he actually follows up that attack with something saucy uh, a lot of times i find myself in a situation being a lance man where i can't really do that so i tend to take a dub well excuse me an l uh, you can block it, but you would need guard up. So if you don't have guard up, don't try to block it. You're going to take like 50 to 60% damage for free. Uh, the other beam, the one where he stands up, he will arc it and kind of swing it around and chase you with it. The thing with that is he's very accurate. Okay, if you're kind of far out back, he's probably still going to snipe. If you're kind of up close, he could probably still hit you. The only way I've been able to dodge this beam consistently without him hitting me while being close to his body is being literally right under his groin. Pause because if you're not right there he can actually arc it to the point where it's like right 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 in front of him and you can still get hit by it now outside of these particular attacks the beam anyway that's essentially all that's truly different to between shigeru magala and gore magala for the most part they're relatively the same monster whereas there's a couple of things like shigeru magala cannot be trapped but you can actually hit it with the flash bot whereas before gore magala has no eyeballs so you can't hit him with a flash bomb however he can be trapped a little bit of give and take but for the most part that's truly the earnest differences between the two and the things to notably watch out for as far as like notable attacks like signature ones to watch out for basically everything I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty sure Gore Magala has, excuse me, Shigeru Magala has a grip too, like he can grip you, but you don't want to get hit with anything he does, because we're getting to the point in the game where everything can basically kill you if you're not, like, paying attention, you know what I mean? So, for the most part, all the attacks that come out of, like, explosive balls, don't get hit by any explosive balls, don't get hit by any beams. Don't get hit by any any of the, the, the two-hand slams, because the two-hand slam still is a thing. Um, even if you have, like, max guard, you're still going to take some chip. You can still take some chip, uh, some pushback or whatever. I think the only way to successfully go through that without taking any real damage is to, have, like, counter it or something like that. But for the most part, you just kind of want to avoid it altogether. He does do it quite a lot. Between it and the hip check, they do these two attacks all the time. You can see them coming from a mile away. And if you're quick enough, you can actually... Uh, dodge them by with the double hand slam moving closer into his body and with the hip check going a little to the left because the hitbox on the hip check is very weird especially uh when it's around his head area so if you think you can't avoid it don't go towards the tail or towards the body dash a little towards the head because for whatever reason the hitbox is very very high on the head so you won't get hit you'll actually go up underneath the neck and whatnot but if you're gonna kill it effectively bring yourself some fire 
it is pretty weak to fire and also that of dragon i think more notable dragon than it is the fire so uh, if you are carrying around some gormagala weapons or if you just fought mazino you can use some of its weapons to do a lot of dragon damage to it uh the slicing weapons the blade master joints if you will they're gonna have the most fun with this one because they do the most damage as they tend to do on the certain bits of course that being the head and i believe the chest as well so if you're kind of like me, a Lancer who likes to stay like up in its freaking gut, you're going to be fine by poking it there because it's okay. Uh, outside of that, what else is there? Not much I can really mention. I mean, it does have a couple of resistances to that of uh, like Blast or whatever. So if you think about bringing Blast, Blast isn't very good, but Poison is very solid for it if I remember correctly. But other than that, that's Shigeru Magala. Now, let's go look at the gear because it's pretty sick. Okay, the armor is really good. It has three godlike abilities stacked on top of each other, that being Bloodlust, Coalescence, and Resuscitate. Bloodlust is that Frenzy ability I was telling you about, where in which if you're afflicted with Frenzy, you have the attack, evasion, and affinity increase. And Coalescence is what happens when you, like, win over that, when you, once you recover from the Blight or whatever, which is what the Frenzy is. Frenzy is technically an abnormal status. You get an attack and an affinity increase. And Resuscitate is when you... Are finally like when you're actually afflicted with it rather you also get an attack increase so you already get the attack increase for having bloodlust and then when resuscitate you get a plus 20 on top of that and then when you recover from it you get some more uh, attack and evasion and affinity those three skills bloodlust coalescence and resuscitate are really good gonna carry this particular set right here you also have things like razor sharp and spare shot which are helpful of course they always are um, but for the most part, it's those three skills are really great. Now, Shigeru Magala is a flagship monster, quote unquote, because it came from the Gore Magala, which was truly the flagship. So you have weapons for every single category. Um, the difference between the two is that Gore Magala has more raw, where Shaggy has more element, sharpness, and affinity. So it's basically whatever you want. Do you want more raw number? Do you want more, you know, sauce on the back? Either way, great armor, great weapons all day. Okay, so let's recap. So what do we know about Shigeru Magala? It's basically almost the same as that of Gormagala. So if you fought Gormagala recently, Shigeru Magala shouldn't be too much of an issue for you. It may do more damage, of course. It may have small, tiny, nuanced things that Gormagala didn't have, but at its core, they're essentially kind of the same monster. So you can take a lot of the same lessons you learn when fighting Gormagala and fighting Shigeru Magala. There are a couple of things that are different that are notable. One thing to note is that it has a beam attack two rather beam attacks when it's in its hyped up state. Watch for the mouth, it glows really bright when it's got about to do it. Has a beam where it will arc it in front of itself, like in a, it'll stand up and shoot it and arc in front of itself, or have the beam where it just sits down on the ground and fires it straight away, very akin to the Ignactor, if you will. I believe someone else has it. I said this before, but I'm losing my mind here. I'm pretty sure someone else has a beam like this. Nevertheless, outside of that, once it is amped up, certain attacks that it does naturally will have these extra plumes around it, very akin to when you actually see it get amped up and it kind of flies in the sky and then roars, those little uh, frenzy plumes are all over on the ground, it'll do certain attacks and in the wake of those attacks will have those same plumes of frenzy. So something kind of cool, something to look out for, isn't in the world, isn't going to be the end of the world if you don't, they don't do that much damage, however it's something uh, that you would say okay, I dodged this attack, but here come the plumes, I have to make have to, have to keep an eye on it. I'm not saying it's the most impressive thing in the world. You just might get caught up with it. Moving on. So outside of that, uh, this biggest weakness is that of like dragon and fire. Use either of those, you're gonna be relatively nice. Of course, hit it in the head because the weak spot is almost always the head in most cases. And um, yeah, again, remember what you learn when fighting War Magal and you're gonna be nice. It's gear is really good. I recommend getting some of the gear. If not the full set of the armor, uh, maybe a weapon or so, because as it stands, it's not probably the best dragon weapon in the game, uh, currently anyway, because Malzino is also a thing and his weapons are very, very nice as well. It's more of a, this is what I prefer to have versus this is what I gotta kind of have thing. But um, yeah, that's essentially all I can really tell you guys about Shigeru Magala. Shaggy Mag is a really cool monster. I'm kind of glad they brought it back. I kind of wish they'd give it a little bit more, but then again, I mean, going from 4th gen Shaggy to 5th gen Shaggy, a lot of cool things changed, and it'd be kind of a little extra for them to change up the whole corn chips, the whole concept of a monster entirely, so that way it can be super different from that of a standard variant, and it's, uh, it's amped up more adult variant. There is another variant, though. There is Chaotic War Magala. Um, who's to say we won't see one of those in a title update sometime soon or whatever? It'll be pretty crazy because I know Kata Gormagala got up to some wild stuff. 
But with that being said, everyone, it's been your boy Dak Not Away, aka the Dig Dug himself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I know we've been like lacking hard body. You don't have to tell me nothing. I'm the one making these videos. I know. Okay. Uh, a couple things have happened. For those who don't know, I have been. Um, like i wouldn't say introduce but like someone said hey would you like to take part in the monster hunter try all on betas uh serv server beta so try was a game that i love to death but it once it's online went down no one's ever been playing online ever since but now someone's who actually are very smart computers decided to actually make a beta for some online servers and they invited me so i've been playing that hard body okay been doing that like far too long but i'm gonna tone that back a little bit and we're gonna get to some other stuff also something else i want to talk about real briefly it is again uh, tied to third generation because I've been getting a little bit burnt out making these sunrise sunrise whatever videos I'm gonna start remastering my three videos because I like that game the game is fun but with that being said everyone it's been your boy um patreon it's a dollar you get a free video every week it's been your boy